happened because we legitimately haven't had anything and the content we have had hasn't really appealed to the fallout fan and what is so annoying about all of this is they legitimately have a game that is sitting right there that they've just like never released and that is fallout shelter online for those of you who don't know what fallout shelter online is essentially it's fallout shelter 2 but an online version released i think for exclusively for china for some reason it was only china but then it ended up getting i think expanded to a bunch of other countries i think malaysia and or indonesia were some of the other countries i think japan may have been on that list as well a lot of like asian type of countries have all been pretend you know some of them been given this game but bethesda for some reason where 99 percent of the people who like play fallout are english speaking users have not released the game to any of us you can't get the game in australia you can't get the game in america you can't get the game in canada don't, definitely you can't get the game in england i don't think it's just like when we're so starved for content and you have this huge game that's apparently like way bigger than fallout shelter just sitting there waiting to make a lot of money you just wonder whoever is leading the ideas for fallout because i actually don't know if it's todd howard's necessarily i think pete hines has a lot to do with it and a couple other people you just wonder what is going on in their heads right now to like really not care and not seem to want to make money i think is the more thing that i'm thinking of like if they release fallout shelter online imagine all the money they'd make like fallout shelter is like the most downloaded bethesda game ever that made heaps of money through microtransactions and you've just got fallout shelter online just chilling there like not even being released what is i don't know i think hopefully one day bethesda will screw their heads on we'll hopefully get some fallout 76 content we'll hopefully get that fallout 4 content we'll hopefully get the fallout tv show content we'll hopefully get the fallout shelter online game and maybe some other stuff but in reality how much of that stuff is actually coming probably not even half of it which is just a very disappointing reality and then there's fallout new vegas 2 the obsidian the company that worked on that game have clearly stated they want to work on it and they want to make it and Bethesda still haven't let them. Why? Why are they like gatekeeping the Fallout franchise and just not doing anything with it? Like, even if the Fallout TV show came out and was a huge hit, I probably still wouldn't be happy because I know there's a hundred million other things they could be doing right now to keep people entertained that they're just not. So it's really, really hard. We may get the Fallout show soon. We may get that Fallout 4 content. I don't even know if we're getting Fallout 76 stuff anymore. I don't even know if Fallout Shelter Online will ever be released. And I don't know what's going on with Starfield. And if a Fallout New Vegas 2 will ever be announced. But yeah, a lot going on here. I would really like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think Bethesda are going to make a Fallout you know some fallout 76 content do you guys think fallout shelter online will eventually be released will the fallout tv show come out all of the above when is starfield even coming out definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below but of course don't forget to subscribe to my you know sports channel my IRL slack flow and channel and my podcast all of them will be getting linked down below but as i was saying please make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys next time goodbye